אנחנו ממשיכים להתקדם בקורס שלנו בכתיבת מיילים, והגענו ממש לקטע תכלס של העסקים. Chapter 5, Request for Quotation. This is a very important part of business because we're asking our supplier for information, for prices, for delivery options regarding the goods that we need. And the style here is very important, although as you will see, the procedure is relatively simple when you get used to it. Let's have a look then at, first of all, how to introduce yourself and your business. Obviously, you're going to start by saying who you are and what your function is. And then you're going to go on and talk a little bit about your company to say what you do. Now, although you're the client here and you're asking the supplier for the goods, you actually want to try to sell yourself. Remember, Israel's not a very big country. And even though we like to think we're sophisticated and we have a big market, in fact, if you ask many of the American and European suppliers, they'll tell you, that we are only a very small percentage of their world market. So we have to try to show them that it's worth their while doing business with us. So as you can see here, I've written, we're a major supplier of such and such a service or such and such a product, or we are a well-established supplier of such and such a product. Well-established means we've been around for a long time, people know who we are, and we're not just some P.O. box number at the post office. So when you're introducing yourself and your business, please try to put yourself in the best possible light. And even if you're not a major supplier and you haven't been around for terribly long, you can still emphasize things like quality of service, reliability, exclusivity, and other things that make small businesses good business partners. Okay, let's move on.